Hey y'all, so today I'm going to attempt to do a shop along with me at a Goodwill in Sacramento. Now this one tends to be very crowded, which gives me raging anxiety, <laughs> but I have good luck here at times. Sometimes there's really good things and sometimes there's really good things at really high prices and sometimes there's ridiculous things at high prices. That seems to be a going theme for Goodwill lately. Um, but uh, let's go see if I can get through this and show you the store. All right. So being as nervous as I was, and the fact that in my favorite aisle of tchotchkes and figurines, a guy was standing there the entire time I was in that aisle looking at books, I decided not to speak. <laughs> so a voiceover it is. This rooster, 349 I got it, but at first I thought it was the top to something, and then I realized, nope, it's just all on its own. And there's a crystal dog. That other thing I got for my daughter. This bag had, I love bags, it had miscellaneous little flat ceramic pieces. I wasn't sure what it was. And that was very lightweight and chipped, trying to stay clear of some of the Christmas stuff. Mary's Moo Moo's. Does anybody know about Mary Moo Moo's? There's a lot of them at this store. And no, I'm not ignoring the horses. They were broken. This milk glass cat trinket container. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to think of it. 249 and it had a cat. It was in good condition, but yeah, I still didn't know enough about it, so I put it back. This cute little perfume bottle. I took a risk on and grabbed it because it was a dollar forty-nine. It ended up being chipped. I was so mad. Didn't figure out until I got home. You never know what's behind things until you dig, and at this store, things are multi-layer. Does this look like a shell to you or poop? Because it could go either way. Shell, poop, shell, poop. I honestly don't know. I don't know enough about this sort of thing to even touch it. Uh, I just, yeah. But this, this was amazing. I would own this myself if I had space for it. I was seriously contemplating it. Four forty nine. Yeah, no. This had a ball at the top and you couldn't put it must have been part of a display of multiple on a, like a merry-go-round or something you know I have a thing I have to touch practically everything <laughs> this cat just spoke to me it was all intact and then it had three price tags on it one forty nine two forty nine three dollars it was from San Francisco music box company and I decided to get it. The guy charged me $149. Then I got it home and it had been overwhelmed. That has a rat on it. I had to get it for my daughter. Kitty cat mug. Not for that price. This mug I should have brought, bought and did some research on because it looked old. This piece here that I'm digging out, pretty sure that's a John Darien, and it is tore up. There's no way to sell that now. Bummer. Could have gone for some good money. Shoe shining box, nice. Jewelry box, nice. Ooh, and it's a good one, too. Looks like a cherry wood. Not that I know anything about jewelry boxes, but it's pretty. 
But yeah, I didn't get it. I haven't sold any jewelry boxes to even know what I'm looking at. But that's a quality hinge. Pretty wood. That guy is still right there. I recently got one of these boxes from my husband. He thinks it's kind of cool. Hello. Yeah, I, I don't know what to think about this. I mean, he's cool looking, but he's got this big gaping hole. Is he part of something else? I don't, I don't know. Look at him. And he's heavy. Oh, he's a stool or pedestal or I don't know. But this one's lightweight. I don't know. I mean, it's like a balsa wood in how light it is. Do, do you put rings on its tail or 49 cents? I can't go wrong, but what do you do with it? Look at those eyes. Yep. And this apple. I think it's an apple. I don't know. It's signed. It's different. It shakes. Maybe I should have gotten that. There's something behind there. Ooh! It's a bubble head. Bottle cork. San Francisco Giants. I don't know, maybe I should have grabbed him too. I'll do my research and throw up the results on the screen. That's pretty, but 549 Celeste. I'm going to have to look that up, but I wasn't willing to take that risk. Ceramic feathers. There's just always so much on these shelves, and they're always stacked. You know, this, you know what? I think, yeah, I'm going to get the owl. Yep. Owl into my cart. It looked like its nose was broken, and then I realized, nope, it's just a flat owl nose. I keep looking at that mug. I should have gotten that mug. I'm going to put up the results of what that shark mug went for. Because that is so super cool. What is this? Man, can you all help me out that? What do you do with that? What do you store? I'm assuming it's a storage type item, an organization type item. It has a couch on the bottom and then those wires. I have no idea. I'm a sucker for a box. This rack, this coat rack, but it's little. Do you put jewelry on it or? I don't know. I like the color. Now, I didn't know what to think about these. Do you know anything about these? Put it in the comment below, please. And then this was in the box, and I was intrigued, but... Yeah, I'm not comfortable selling things that I don't know a whole heck of a lot about, and I don't want to get stuck with. And this is one of those things. It's like a collector's plate, but from Japan. I guess. Whoa! I almost bought it there. Although, I don't know about your, your... It's not Salvation Army, it's Goodwill. I don't know about your Goodwill, but if you break something on accident, uh, they don't make you pay for it. So just keep that in mind. Accidents happen, and some of us are klutz. Seductive Angel! Yeah. I got this. I so got that. <laughs> it's a brass owl trivet. Of course, I'm going to get it. And bunnykins, unfortunately, that had a huge honking chip. I didn't catch it till the cash register, but at least I caught it before I paid for it. So there's that. This, is, I believe, was an ocarina. Yeah, I, I don't really have interest in selling an ocarina. Dig, dig. There's always boxes and bags at the end of that aisle. Now this intrigued the heck out of me and I almost got it. It's a snake with the upper body of a woman. I don't I don't even know what to say about that. 
obviously a studio piece. I just, yeah. Yeah. I'm always looking through the frames for little pieces of needlepoint work and cruel. This little bear set was cute, but not something I wanted to waste my time with. And this globe was kind of cool, but it's, you know, it doesn't move or anything. Shake, shake, shake. I should have looked at that bowling pin. You know, it's probably an Avon bottle. Out of the corner of my eye, that looked like a good little painting. Oh, I knocked down the woman snake. Billy Bass. I bought one of these at the outlet once and I felt so stupid because it didn't work. And ever since then, I've been afraid to buy them, but they sell well. And then upon inspection, that little kickstand thing didn't want to come up and there was some damage. And I was like, nope, that's a sign going back on the shelf. Not a big fan of dolls, but look at this piggy bank. Oh my gosh. This is something I would have bought my youngest. For a while, she was all into piggies. Piggies and princesses. And my eldest daughter is into rats. So I'm always looking for Christmas presents throughout the year. I should have grabbed that. I ended up grabbing the kettle that goes on the wall. I didn't grab that, or the teapot. These, oh my gosh, Tanala mugs. I should have gotten them. They didn't have prices. The lady went and priced them for me. What do you think of that though? That is amazing to me. I may go back and get it. It's been there for a while. It's a bamboo mug, but the paint, or maybe it's to, seal it shut around the handle and look at this decanter oh my gosh it was eight something and I wasn't sure in fact I asked the lady here for a price because I didn't see it right away I wasn't sure if I wanted to get them. They were $1.49 a piece and there was five of them. That worked out to like seven something. I don't know. I'm gonna do the research and I'll post it on the video. This trinket dish was gorgeous and cheap and broken. Always broken. Oh well. This was wood. I was tempted, but I didn't. And look at this silver crest down here. So pretty. So huge. So cumbersome to ship. And look at that with the controlled bubble. I should have got that one. Okay, a little regret on that one. They're so cute. But heavy. My gosh. And those were gorgeous. But the middle one had a ship. And I'm afraid to ship big cumbersome things like that. Maybe if the right pattern showed up. Oh my gosh. Like this one. Alice in Wonderland. Thought it had a chip. Bummer. So many things. That blue frosted glass container. I didn't even look at that. Because I saw this. Oh my gosh. Refrigerator dish. Long one too. Would you believe I didn't get it because it was $4.49? What was I thinking? I really should go back and get it. Ugh. Gorgeous. Okay. Mickey Mouse faded. But what are these indents? Somebody tell me, please. I don't get it. 
I know these flat bottom traveling mugs were all the rage for a while. There's a lot of mugs that were actually priced at the baseline price for Goodwill, which was kind of shocking. I think they got such an influx of mugs that they uh, decided not to price gouge every single one of them. This pattern is very interesting. So many mugs to choose from, and this is not even the mug section. <laughs> And clear. I know not many people like the clear. This was kind of cool. Artichoke and silver, but it was faded because it was a candle. So I passed. Again, a decent priced mug and a decent sized mug. Hmm. I have enough mugs. Sango. I don't know anything about Sango, but it has a look to it that I just, I need to learn more. They're kind of pretty. I'm assuming they're very modern. And then there's this! <laughs> sorry, couldn't resist. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> then there's this item. Um, great drip glaze. It looks to be a bolt. Um, and maybe a vase. $7.49. And back on the shelf it goes. Yeah, I think it was supposed to be a vase. So weird. This one is signed Catherine Hepburn. Is that the actress Catherine Hepburn? I don't know. Racquetball, anyone? I know it's a trivet. I like the weight on this one, cast iron, but it's got this like protective coating painted over it. So I took it. If I don't sell it, I'll keep it because I like it. This guy was popular in the 90s with his artwork. It was everywhere with little people. I don't remember his name though. This was a gorgeous pot and it was broken and they were still trying to sell it for $7.49. Anybody know anything about these? I can't even make out the bottom, but the design is so funky. I kind of like it. Like ergonomical. And this was kind of pretty. I didn't know what to do with it though. Okay, help me out with that. Would you get these? Is that like a pot, a sugar pot and a ginger pot? A sugar bowl and a ginger pot, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm so clueless on so many things, but I liked these, and I bought these. If I can get it into frame. Sorry, I'm still new at this. Once I get over my anxieties, I'll be better, I promise. Anyway, they were marked Japan. I think they were $2.49, and they had the water wheel on it. Yeah, I kind of liked how they looked. Look at this art class. Mummies. I do not know jack squat about art. But look at this puppy. Yeah, the lady I was talking to had a really cool basket. It was like a cloth material. Look at him. So precious. The frame was probably worth more than the picture, but yeah, I still don't know that sort of thing, and it is not my forte. I bow to those who can sell art. Bird! This had to be a top to something. I, I wasn't sure. It was cute, though. But if it was a top to something, it must have been something really big. Refrigerator dish. Very faded. I've sold many of these in the past, but um, I had gotten them really cheap, and $5.49 is not doable. 
color caught my eye. The sticker made me put it down. I have no idea what it was. This tray had a bunny on it. I thought it was cute, but I don't do trays either. This decanter here had me perplexed. I think it said Cody on the bottom or something. And that indent. I know nothing about liqueur um, and aerating and that sort of thing, so I put it back. People were irritating me. They were going the wrong way. The aisles were too tight. Oh, Star Wars. And here I'm praying that it's an old one, not a new one. And... Upon further inspection, yeah, no, it's new. No thanks. So I tried to talk to the camera here saying that Halloween starting and the music was so loud that I, I had to resort to a voiceover. So most of the stuff you see here is all new. It's uh, seconds from Rite Aid and their Halloween stuff from last year. And part of me was really hoping that he wasn't new as well, but he was. Yep, Rite Aid. Bummer. There were some really cute things, none of which I was going to add to my ever-growing Halloween collection. At least, none of these right now. This was one of those Halloween decoration things that when you turn it on, it vibrated like the electricity was pulsing through it. But yeah, I'm not going to pay $15.95 at a secondhand store for it. I wonder what they did with all the Christmas stuff. I mean, with Christmas coming up, you wouldn't think they would take it to the bin so soon. So. Did they put it all in the back? I mean, there was a lot of Christmas stuff in this aisle before. You had to dig deep and so much stuff. I don't know what they did with it. This bunny was straight up amazing and kind of creepy. I had to have it. Yeah, needless to say, Bunny came home with me at $1.49. Creepy like that. Oh yeah, totally mine. I'm a total Fitz and Floyd magnet, and I thought maybe that was a piece because my senses were tingling. But then I saw this pig. Oh my gosh, it's a hog on a hog. Didn't even notice the Starbucks mug right next to it. I hope it wasn't a good one. I mean, it was in the Christmas aisle, so probably not. But from here, it almost looks like it's a you are here mug. Okay, probably not. I was right. Fitz and Floyd's senses were tingling. Score! Would this be considered Majolica? I'm not exactly sure. Asking for a friend. <laughs> and I can't read the back there, but the glaze makes me think Majolica. But then, I again, I don't know what I'm talking about. Not yet, anyway. These particular boxes are the classic Fitz and Floyd, and in them, the jolly old Saint Nick pattern, which, if you get the cookie jar, is worth over $100. So my basket is brimming, and I'm overly tired, and there's just 
so much stuff that I'm overwhelmed. And there's so many things that I should have gotten that I have the opposite of Pyre's remorse. Hall to come is what I'm saying. Big hall to come. Okay. Um, wow, that was quite the shopping trip. My total spend was 65 or something, which is pretty high for me. I mean, I usually don't spend that much at the outlet. Okay, maybe occasion. <laughs> but there's some boxes of Fitz and Floyd back there that I am so super stoked about. So, um, I'll do a, a haul video of that relatively soon and I'm going to go home. I'm going to get some iced tea and I'm going to start researching these things. <laughs> okay. Bye.